Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana and uh, this is Creativity Inc. And today, um, as always, I like to show you what I got over the weekend. These are my vintage finds. I got some oilers. I got some tools. I got this pig and some um, screwdrivers, cutters. I think this is, I want to carve some stamps and I think that's going to be perfect for that. And I got these like old Asian scissors, which I'm like so in love with. You guys know I collect scissors, so... Finding these old looking scissors is always a kick for me. And for today's videos, I want to start with this piece of uh, canvas cloth that I found in like pieces that I have of uh, different uh, cloths or like fabrics and stuff. So I, what I'm going to do is I fold it in half and with a knife, I just went ahead and started slicing the side of it. My goal is to um, break the hem or just like take it out take it um take it apart without taking it apart if you guys know what i mean so what i'm doing is because the fiber the cloth has up and down and sideways um thread i'm i want to cut the side to the up and down thread so that only the side to side thread is uh hanging out i want it to be very um what is the word slaggy sluggy um and so what i'm doing is after i cut it with that same knife i pull out the thread that it's like still attached and making it still whole so i'm just pretty much just three you know deconstructing this pieces of fabric on the edges shaggy shaggy that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> anyways i wanted to um shaggy it out as much as i can as much as possible so that um it, do, it doesn't look like just a folded piece of cloth when I'm uh, done with what I'm trying to do. And so what I want to do is start with a uh, watered down gray. Um, just any gray, I guess. Or um, In my case, I'm using gray, but you can use brown, you can use black. Just to water it down. Um, when I do these kind of concepts, my first step is always like a watered down version because I can always add up add more to it and you could always just add more color add more add more or even cover it because it's so light right but um in any case you can do that and then um what i'm doing is i'm starting from the tips because i really don't know where i'm going color wise with this cloth so i know i'll know as i go um but for now, I'm using um, the the gray, right? And I have this um, is dye dye fabric dye, as what is called dye rye or I dye rye or something like that that you buy at the Walmart, and it's to like dye your fabric. So what I did is I I put it on a little glass jar and I have it on the side so that I can uh, vintage like things at a time. So what I started doing is I started um, dipping the edges. See how it works out, how it looks, see if it works great, how it works with the fabric, because I've never done this fabric with this dye. So playing around with the colors was, I guess, part of my piece today. I think I should have done it in another piece just so I know how it absorbs on this piece. But uh a lot of the times the the my first tries I end up uh like really happy with. And when I try it a second time, it looks like, like, I swear I follow the same steps. How, how, how come I don't like it now, you know? So because I started noticing that happened to me a lot, I, I just started going, not being scared of just trying it on the piece that I want to work on. So as you guys can see, I started in the center with black paint. And I'm just working it out. So I want to put a, a dark color, but then I water, I want to water it down. So. I'm just uh, kind of spreading the paint out by squeezing it with water. So I'm spreading the color out. Not that I think it's too dark, but I think it might be um, harder to work with if it's darker. And I'm, I don't know if you guys heard me on the, my last video. I'm trying not to be so dark in my paintings or in my crafts, but it seems like I can't help myself I just always pull the dark colors and I don't know I'm just trying not to be so dark and this is how it came out 
it has I let it dry overnight so that um it just dries really well. I don't want to be sitting here with the heat blow dryer or heat dryer thing and just have it here and sitting here now I, I just so I just let it be for next day. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work on the inside of it for today's video for um for this piece now later and later I do add to the back of it and I do add just white just because I like the contrast of the and it's not white it's an off white from um, those 50 cents uh, paints from the from Walmart from that plate company I like the uh, paints a lot and so I usually grab one of the colors in this case is antique linen and I grab it and I do my mixture of um, the paint uh, plaster and glue so it will have that um, kind of rugged texture to it but since it has that glue in the paint it won't flake off and I really like how it looks my centerpiece in this um, layout I'm going to do a little um, kind of like a display with a banner I have a video for that it's uh, how I make banners out of uh, cloths or different kinds of fabric and I'm using these rusty 
I actually don't know what they are. I just know I have a whole bag of them. I got I go to the this cool like place where you can buy a lot of parts, and they had a bucket of them outside, and they had been rained on, and everything was rusted. And you know that guy's my friend, and I asked him, "Can I have some?" And like, "How much would you sell me a bunch of?" Them? He's like, "Just grab a bag full," and then um, then he hooked me up, so he gave me a whole bag of these. So I've been using them, and I'm like loving them. So I'm gonna use them as a display for for uh, my banner. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had stamped a five or a fifth on it because my um, the book that I made for it has a five on it. So I was gonna do a you know bring that five into this display. I mean, that display is spread out, and um, I didn't like that green. Um, it it was from Golden. It's a green that's golden, but it looked different on the label than it did look on my page looked like a different green i was going for more like a hunter green like a dark green and it looked like very light in color so um i ended up not liking it oh because i'm using acrylic so what i did is i i kind of like spread acrylic on a piece of glass and then i put my, i put my stamp on there and then i mean i stamped my stamp there to pick up paint and then i stamped it on here and maybe that's why it didn't work as a, as as i liked it but Nevertheless, you guys will see me um, covering it. I'm just going to use that same gray paint that I used before in the blue one. It, you guys will never see the difference. But after a million hours of me trying to figure out how I'm going to display all my little rings, I decided to um, to glue it down and um, show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so what I also did, and um, I didn't capture it at all, but I put some of those same rings at the tip on the bottom of the of the cloth, sort of like a page turner or like a tab. So I used a little bit of metal rings on that. And this is the book I made um, that I was using that page for. So it locks like a door. It has a door lock. And it really doesn't open if you don't unlock it. That's my door knocker. And this is where my page is. That's the rings that I put to fold the page. And this is my ring display. And this, I also put some of that paint on the back. And um, I didn't use, I didn't um, fill this book up. I did use a lot of uh, fabric. I have, a, I'm working on a fabric um, sayings or fabric words. And I use a few of them in this book. I'm planning to. Uh, I do have a, a printer that prints on canvas, so I'm planning to uh, put that on my Etsy store pretty soon where I'm going to be selling my these this book and um, some of my other books along with uh, fabric ephemera, not fabric, I mean, sorry, canvas ephemera, which includes words and um, I'm working on some flowers and some um, some other kinds of ephemera that is made out of canvas. The cool thing about Canvas is that, you know, you can, like, see that paper right there with the uh, writing? That's Canvas. And it feels better. Like, it feels different when you have it on your journal. And it doesn't really come across on the screen. But when you have it on a journal, you see it. And as you guys remember, I did those um, wax seals out of uh, Crayola melts or cray just regular Crayolas from, like, the kids' Crayolas. And I used use a stamp to stamp the... The letter on there and um so yeah so i'm gonna have all these kinds of uh, products made out of the canvas that i that i am able to work on so right now i'm working on the designs and on the words i wanted to have a really nice awesome package to introduce my um my uh, etsy store so if you guys uh, want to subscribe to this channel and i will give you guys more updates as to when that's going to happen and I'm probably going to have a great deal for the first few um, buyers. So anyways, on the back of the book, I have a mailbox. And it has just a bunch of uh, little um, ephemera. And that's how you open the door. And in front of my door, that's where I put my maker's label. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you and have a good one.